In the following video, we will cover how to handle refunds in the system. The scenario we will go over is a customer turns a part of an order and wants a refund on only one of the line items that's associated with that particular order. Okay, let's go to control. There are two answers to the scenario. The first one is to uh, zero out the line item um, or give the refund and then zero out the line item. So to do so, in this case we have a closed order. Um, it's actually been closed within a three month time frame so we still have the ability to reopen the order. So I want to go to my status, change it back to sell, um, and then I want to leave the station as is. I want to give in a reason for why I'm reopening this order. And what this is going to do is change this order back to the uh, sale status. And once that happens, I actually can click on the action bar on the main toolbar and then give a refund. Okay, so I want to give a refund for the amount of the line item. And I want to associate that with which um, payment account that I'm going to give back to the customer. In this case, let's just say it's a cash. And then a reason for the refund. So go ahead, hit OK on that. The refund has been posted in the system. Um, before I actually open up this order, I can actually go back to the totals tab and then see that now um, it's been taken out of the payments and that order is due um, this particular amount. Um, my next step is to click on edit on this order. And I want to actually zero out the total. For this line item. Now I would also want to go back to the total tab to make sure that the balance due is zero. In this case it is. And now I can save this order. And then once I'm done, I can actually manually go back in and close the order. Now, the reason you would want to do it this way is because um, you don't want to lose the actual cost that's associated with these with this line item. So if I go to my parts tab, my cost for this job has not changed, even though. Um, the customer um, requested a refund and the materials were brought back. We're not going to actually reuse them once they're used, they're done. Um, so in that case, um, we want to keep the line item associated with this job um, so that the cost would be correct for it. Um, another scenario is to actually delete the line item entirely and then give the refund from the uh, customer credit screen. To do so, we're going to go to a, another order here. and in this case this order is already in sale I want to click on edit so I can open up the order um, click on my line item and then click on the delete button so I'm going to go ahead and delete this first line item um, and then go back to the totals tab 
we're going to see a negative balance for the amount for that order. Um, from there, I'm just going to go ahead and click on my save button. And then control is going to say that the payment total is greater than the um, order total. It's going to remove that remaining balance into customer credit. So I want to hit OK on that. Alright, so now the next thing I want to do is go to the company record, click on or company tab and then click on view company. And then I want to go to the financial tab for that company and here's the, um, the balance for that line item. I can actually click on my action bar, click on give refund. And I want to say that the total is 282.28. I'm going to give the customer, in this case, the cash payment back. And there are no reason for the refund. And then hit OK. And then the refund is now posted. This will conclude the video.